We rejoin our intrepid frontiersmen as they are recovering from their previous reconnaissance. William is feeling his age while Yaramir is trying to awkwardly build bridges with the quartermaster. He also teaches the chef's daughter, Amelie, a fun game called Help Yaramir Collect Regents. Ferris keeps himself busy with patrols and despising humans. And with Grimes acting as interpreter, the party also interrogates their Knoll prisoner, who is called Nash. The Knoll is quite helpful, and they learn that there seems to be a war going on between packs of Knolls, and they also learn of ruins referred to by the Knoll as the Great Wall. The party decide to join the Knoll War, hoping to win the favour of Nash's pack and gain allies with knowledge of the area. So once more they head out into the frozen waste, accompanied by Nash. During their travel, they surprise a pack of snowbolds, which the party readily slaughter. They continue their journey until Nash leads them safely to a cave where they can prepare for their war. Have they bitten off more than they can chew with the knolls? Will the Great Wall reveal answers about this mysterious land? Or does it harbour some lurking evil? Let's find out now on Frozen Frontier. Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Frozen Frontier. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing very well. I got into work, and all my bosses took off early. And so I took off a little early. It was good. It was good stuff. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Yeah. What about the rest of you guys? Uh, not much going on here. All, all I really have that's worth talking about, I, I'm going to be finishing a campaign on Sunday. And I'm going to be trying out some new games, trying to find a, you know, something new to play. So I'm going to try and hack master, which I found online and read the rulebook for. And it sounds like it might be the best game ever written mm. in like the history of gaming, but it might also be completely unplayable because there's some, isn't it there. just pathfinder with more combat rules? No, it's uh, it's kind of like somebody took AD and D. It honestly reminds me of two point Neil where it's like somebody took AD and D and thought, let's expand these rules and like fix a lot of the dumb stuff. And in doing so, they added a whole ton of crunch. And it's I like... remember back in the in the day, like way back in the day, mm -hmm. the Spoonie one had a Hackmaster campaign, and I thought it was very Pathfindery. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's like it doesn't have rounds or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It goes second to second. Every time you attack somebody, they make a defense roll. Uh, the whole thing is very weird, and I'm worried it might just be completely unplayable. But it, I, I enjoyed <laughs> reading the whole thing. <laughs> I this enjoyed it awesome. from start to end. No, I'm going to do something very similar, actually. I, in, in a week, I'm going to be... There's this... Do you know who Vincent Banker is? He, he helped write Apocalypse World. Mm -hmm. I found a blog of his, and on it, he proposes a like thought experiment game called The Rock of Tahamat, um, which is basically this free play game with very few rules in which one person is a space tyrant and the rest of the table are like little oppressed people for lack of a better word and i am completely worried that, that game is unplayable but i really want to play it i've yeah. like strong-armed a bunch of people on twitch to that's let me run it for them yeah that's that's the boat i'm in minus the twitch part and then the other one i've got a uh, castles and crusades which is apparently supposed to be some sort of weird blend between ad and d and 3.5 i haven't gotten through that book yet because uh there's just so much fucking fluff that i hate to read in that but uh i'm gonna try that after but yeah no lots of lots of game testing with things that might be completely unplayable <laughs> Very cool. What about you, Ryan? How's it going? You got a new fancy webcam. You look so crystal clear. Yes, you can see all of my imperfections in HD now. Mm -hmm. What imperfections? <laughs> oh, That's, I've got the lights down dim. So you can. <laughs> um, yeah, going well. It's finals week, which means I don't have anything to do in terms mm. of. I don't know school stuff so been chilling family is in town so cool. doing touristy things around seattle do you take them to oh my god i've already forgotten the place the name of the place the, the space needle no <laughs> the place you take me every time we go the uh, Pike place 
Never mind. The crate Sean, restaurant you... I took you to? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I... I can't for the life of me. I shouldn't even have brought it up. Fish memory <laughs> arts and can't, can't remember what we did. Um, Sean, do you have finals this week? No. No. Are you already done with finals? Yeah, no. Uh, the west side does everything like a month later than the east side, so I'm actually on a brand new quarter right now. Mm. Is it summer mm -hmm. quarter? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, summer starts like a week after next. Yeah, so for us it's a month after, but we end the month before uh, west side does. Crazy people. There's... Are you playing these like creaking boat music for chat? <laughs> And it's, you seems inappropriate for a recap. Oh, I no, this is maybe the, not. This is the like you guys are hanging out and reflecting while we chat about whatever stuff, you know. And you got here right. on a boat, and there's a lot of water around you. You're in a cave. Right. I don't know. Makes sense for me. Right. So does does Nick need to tell us about his week? About his insane all nighters? It's turning into Neil over there. Yeah, it's been a weird week, man. I will tell you as well. Like last weekend, I don't know if I mean you must have seen it. What happened in London? Yeah. After what happened in Manchester. But there's something different about uh, just like people running around the streets with knives, like just killing people who are just like sitting there drinking in the streets or whatever. There's something more visceral and terrifying about that. So that was pretty bad. And then um, last night I stayed up all night to watch the election, which without going into it uh, was a pretty good result for Labour, despite not being the biggest party. But it's pretty good if you're interested or if you're English, I'm sorry, you already know what's going on. <laughs> So I stayed up all night last night, and now here I am again. Very cool. Yeah. Well, Did we you... Won't... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. This might not be the, the, the greatest story, but when there was the, the stabbings, did you hear the story about the soccer hooligan? The, like, when yeah, the, the, Mill, the Millwall fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know, there's this, there's this guy that was having a few pints, uh, celebrating first. I, I believe they, they moved up. Uh, one league, they they were promoted a league in the in the, the soccer, and uh, during the time of the stabbings, he he realized that uh, he was a bit buzzed, but decided that uh, this was was not okay, and he needed to give a good what for to the people that were were stabbing, and so he he screamed some soccer chant and tried to attack the the stabbing. Yeah. He got stabbed for his for his uh, efforts, but I, I think that guy is awesome. Yeah, like, British soccer you, hooliganism at its finest. Your thought process is I need to go full on soccer hooligan on this guy. Like you're an A plus. Well, the funny thing is that that team he supports, Millwall, is known for having really violent hooligans. <laughs> <laughs> and also, one of the guys doing the stabbing was wearing an Arsenal team, an Arsenal football shirt, which is like a, a rival team. <laughs> <laughs> So he might not have even realized what was going on. He might have just been kicking off. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's enough to make him an honorary American, I think. I think so, too. Uh, anyway, let's, um, let's hop in. We've already done our recap. Where we left off, everyone was about to go to sleep in a cave, and then Yaromir I, was like... I, don't, I, was, were, like, I was not about to go to sleep in a cave. Yeah, we we arrived at the cave, I, and, so I have some. Yeah. And Grimes had had just said, "Let's talk about watches. Like we should probably have watches." And I agree. I don't. I don't really think sleeping in the cave is a good idea. Why is why is that, well, Yaramir? Will is uh, is time to be serious now. Uh, fun and games have happened uh, on the way here, but uh, we came from coast. Uh, not under cover of trees or darkness, uh, and is very easy to see men on coast approaching. If uh, I was a general of Grand Knoll Army in this part of the world, I would have patrols uh, that look. I think it's very reasonable we could be spotted in the this cave is a good uh, place to perhaps figure out strength of new opponent. If new person enters land, this is good place to, uh, they pro probably think are safe, let guard down, small party could uh, engage here. Uh, I think it's good idea to perhaps use cave to set ambush just in case we were spotted coming up coast. 
Grimes, why didn't you ask Nash? Did they send patrols around this pub? Would they have seen us here? <clears throat> Oi, Nash, quit smelling your bum. <laughs> <laughs> what you want? Uh, what, okay, let me let me review my notes. See if I can figure out what this guy's name is. Do the do the Knolls patrol this region? Bokasa and his Knolls. Do they do they patrol the woods? I like Nods. gesture outside the cave. Yes. Hmm. But you said, strong. You have steel. You capable of killing all of Okasa's men. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, Nash. Uh, he's he says there are patrols. Well, shit. Is I mean, what Yerumir but... would do if I was leader of Null Nation. A, a propose. Is possible, is possible we were not seen. Yes, is possible. However, is... we have tent. I think it is best if we perhaps light fire here in cave. Uh, give reason for Nulls to investigate and have us farther away. Uh, with a watch in the night. I was quite looking forward to sleeping in the warmth, yeah, but I suppose. How's the temperature of the cave compared to the tent? Has, I think it's much warmer, day. probably, but I like being alive more than being warm. I think it's mechanically equivalent. Because it's, it's like a calm day or something today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, in the cave, you don't have to worry about wind ever, so it's always going to be calm in the cave. Uh, the cave is the equivalent of being indoors. So it is the superior place to make camp, um, you know, heat-wise. Can you not lay some traps, Grimes? The entrance. Uh, I don't... Let me check. I don't think what I can. Is, what is the um, terrain like around the cave? You described it as kind of like going down into a cove. Are there like cliffs or is it like a gentle slope? Uh, what so is the terrain like? You've got this nice long beach and it curves all the way in. If we look at the, the map, right? You're at the, the very apex of that section. Uh, it's nice and kind of pointed down in there. And there's just a, a cave that runs 40, 50 feet back in. Uh, snow on the ground outside of it from falling throughout the course of the day gently and then sand where the water has washed the snow away. The cliffs are 30 feet high but they're not that steep. There's maybe like 10 feet of steep cliff and then everything else is slightly slanted and even that like 10 feet is pretty easily climbable. Uh, I think you guys could probably climb it at double your normal, so instead of at like um, 12 feet per round, you could climb it at 24 feet per round. So say that again, the, the, there's only 10 feet of cliff above the cave, or total? No, it's like, the cliffs are like 30 feet high, but okay. only 10 of that is fairly sheer. The rest of it is fairly slanted. So okay. you're not, you know, you couldn't really stand on the slanted part, but it would be easier to scramble up it. What about the cave entrance itself? How how wide is that? Uh, it's about... And how tall? And About 10 feet, you know, a little bit less. Uh, the so height is maybe... So there's a slope above the entrance and then mm -hmm. a sheer face? Above the entrance is slightly sheer and then it kind of rolls back. You know, it's like a... So it's kind of like the, ca the, the cave entrance is actually facing out into this bay. Into the ocean, right. So yeah. uh, at then, high tide, it looks like the water would actually come up into part of the cave. Uh -huh. I, th so I thought I was under the impression that it, the whole cave was sealed off at high tide. As in, if you're in the cave at high tide, you're stuck in the cave. I was, yeah, that's what you said yeah, last that's, time. That's, yeah, what that's, that's what it would be. At high tide, the water would come in, and you'd have to, like, wade through the water to get back out. Right, so you'd be, like, stuck in the back. Or like, climb our way out. Um, I suppose you could try and climb horizontally and around <laughs> along right. the walls. Grimes could do it. What is the rock made out of? Rock? What is a cliff made of? It's, made of, it's a rock cliff face. Uh, yeah, rock. The the top part has earth on it, but the the walls of it are rock. So there's there's cliffs around us. Our cave doesn't face the land; it faces out into the ocean. Yes. Are there multiple ways down, or is there like did we follow like a single path down to the cave? Um, 
Nash brought you down to the beach, maybe a quarter mile back, and so you kind uh. of you did the last bit on the beach. You did see, and he pointed out to you, uh, past the cave and continuing along the beach, maybe you know sixty or seventy feet. There is uh, an area where the cliff has collapsed and kind of been washed out, and so you've got like a nice easy ramp up. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is this is my worry. Uh, if a uh, nose were to come, uh, we would not necessarily know unless they came down the beach. Uh, if I was, if Yeromir was leading group of warriors, much like now, <laughs> I, I would, uh, I would have no one on beach. I would wait for us to to leave and kill from above is is much better to kill from above i i have i've seen no sign of noel have you there is fire in cave look at look at old firewood in cave is not that old this is the first sign of other life that we've seen <clears throat> have you seen any knolls in the woods i don't i don't think we've been spotted we did not necessarily attempt to look either is is good point. Is very I, unlikely. Well, I, I don't would know what you were doing when we were walking, but I was looking. I saw no sign of Noel. Only kobolds. Mm. All right. I, is is long shot that we were is not long shot. Is possible we were spotted. Is possible we were not. Uh, look, Yeromir is fun loving guy, but uh, it is now is serious time. Life and death. Uh, I will just wish to be very careful. What do you propose uh, we do? Uh, my proposal is to not sleep here. But sleep uh, we'll go with group. Uh, I know old man has weary bones. Elves are known to be picky. Is if if must sleep here, you can. I have spell magic. I have magic that can help alert us if. Uh, things got out of hand, but uh, does not last much more than a half a night, uh, and is not very big. I worry could miss important part of invading group, if any. Suppose we leave this cave. We need firewood to last the night. Wouldn't we be spotable even if we weren't in the cave from smoke rising through the air? We'll. Did not think of that. <laughs> also, this this cave is significantly far away from Barkus's. No, it's not. Is is what, think, isn't this staging ground of campaign of glorious victory against Bokasa? Yes. It's yes, a few miles, right? I, it's the other side of I, the forest. Yeah, I think Bokasa and his tribe are in the foothills and his pack. Even if you were to send someone else here, it wouldn't be his whole pack. It would only be a small patrol, and we're looking for fighter yeah, patrol we're... anyway. On on our terms, not on theirs. I wish to. I wish to. As I said, would be Yeromir's choice to kill from above at distance uh, to surprise. I believe it's possible here tonight, especially. Uh, we do not have. Uh, this I, advantage. <clears throat> I think you overestimate the intelligence of Knolls. If they no. came here to kill us, they'd I'm sure they'd attack us head on. Oh, no. oh. When when the sun goes down, do Knolls sleep? Or do you prowl in the night? When it's dark. In the night? In the dark? No one can hear you scream. It is best time for killing enemies. <laughs> okay, all right. I will not relate that to the rest of the group. <laughs> but it's also creature. when we sleep. <laughs> well, you, you bring good points. Uh, my strategy was not as foolproof as initially uh, thought. Uh, I suggest extreme caution is, is uh, taken this night. Does this creature on. understand common? Oh so. yeah, Nash, is, Nash speaks fluent common. 
I've been barking and grunting all day because I like it. Your yeah, sarcasm is, as always, yeah, unappreciated. You don't speak common, do you? Of course I do. I speak common right now. Okay. This <laughs> is no. common In tongue. I don't know a, what language you speak, strange one. Okay, he doesn't speak no fur. <laughs> I'll be honest, Have we... I'm more scared of a night out in the cold than I am of some gnolls. I appreciate your points, but I think we'll be safer in the cave. Have we considered the possibility we might be allying ourselves with the wrong side? Vokasa's tribe at this point is more than likely the stronger of the two. And for all of the, the aid that we've offered Nash, he won't even show us to his camp. We're to slay his enemies all on our lonesome? Without even a word to his allies? Do we trust this creature? Nulls are nulls. It doesn't matter which one's in charge. They just respect power and fear. Hashtag racism. <laughs> if we kill Sounds the a lot like another I race I know. I, I for one, think we're better off splitting whatever... It spoils of war Bokasa's tribe has amongst ourselves rather than with the gnolls. If we gnolls. kill Bokasa, no gnoll will dare stand against us. If we ally with Bokasa, who's to say he won't turn on us? Do they you believe... trust this Nash character? I don't trust any of them. I'd have killed them all, but it was I believe it was you and well, the three of you that talked me around to traveling with this beast. I believe having Eli is positive thing. Whether it's chaotic evil or not, it's still good to have ally for small time. That remains to be seen, but it's the path we've taken. And I think we should stick to the plan. What what time of day is it? It's approaching evening. Okay. Um How do you propose setting up watches? A you had mention of this before. Grimes. I don't know. Ask ask the captain. He's the veteran of Yeah. Well you need your sleep, Yara man. I'm rather tired. How about uh Grimes? Hold on, goes I need first. my I need my sleep too. Well you, you can stay up a few sleep. more hours. How else does he have flowing mutton chop? <laughs> I, I get up early anyway, so you take yeah. three hours, Grimes. Yaramir, um, Farish, you take three hours and then wake me up and I'll take the last three. Can we... Uh, do elves need less sleep in this system or is that nope. only in later full editions? sleep. Okay. What about Nash? You have no idea, but you all should be getting right. closer to seven or eight hours that you need, so... Did you do four watches of three? No, I didn't. Okay. So I, that's about what can... we'll need to recover our warmth, too, isn't it? Well, I guess if it's... So, yeah. so, so, so four hours, then that's fine. Yeah. I would like to have second watch. I, I was, I wasn't giving you a watch. I would like. Okay. Um. We're, we're probably... sleeping for twelve hours. Yes. Yeah. Resting for twelve hours. Yeah. It's best to have four Shit. three hour watches. No. Okay. Yeromir can still get enough sleep and memorize spells if take a watch. But what about Nash? Like... He, um, uh, is it safe to just leave him unrestrained? Uh, what's he gonna... I just <laughs> him over in the corner I... doing his own thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think he'll run, I mean, someone will be up with him at all times. Yeah. I don't, I don't think he's taking a watch, if that's what you're suggesting. Or at least I don't I trust, trust him I don't trust watch. Yaramir to take him in a fight, though. <laughs> I, I do trust Yaramir to scream loud enough to wake me up. At my disposal. Do not worry about the Yaramir. My fingers are like magic. Many people have told me this. With how oh. you've been fighting recently, William, I'm not sure I trust you to take him in a fight. <clears throat> Look, Faris, I can kill this null if I want, and I'll kill you too. Why don't you just watch your mouth? <laughs> Very well, and Ferris begins to scratch out like a tally of all the kills that he's had so far <laughs> this, <laughs> this campaign. So. Grimes would like to set some pittons in the cliff face to secure an escape route if the tide seals us in. Ah, how many pittons do you carry upon you? I carry ten. I figure, I mean, it's only like ten feet of cliff face, right? And then maybe a few on like the inside or something. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll plan a route that we could string rope sure. up or whatever and climb out of the cave if need be. Yeah, you could throw three pittons in the cliff face and that'll be enough to get you like... 
you know, they're, they're two feet apart, that'll get you six feet up, uh, and from there you can just hoist yourself probably to the next area. Um, okay. Two feet apart seems, I mean, typically you'd do them like five or so feet of, and you'd like Well, I was thinking if you pin. wanted to climb the cliff face by stepping on the pittons. Alright. Okay. Well, uh, sure. I'll use, I'll use, go ahead. Where is this, where is this relative to the, is this on the outside or? This is like the top, so the cave entrance, this would be like up the face of the cliff above the cave entrance, and maybe inside of the cave, so that if it, if the entrance floods in, we, we can, can climb, climb up. up. Okay. Um, before we fall into sleep, um, I'd like to examine the cliff face itself um, and gauge... Grimes! Grimes! You have skill for this, I do not. Uh, can you gauge exact height of uh, cliff face for me? It is important because I have been studying tattoos and I believe I can force the arcane wheel of this place to allow us to ascend them rather quickly. If uh, I can find Grasshopper Lake. Sure, my gauge is 12. Do I, do I need to roll No, that? you're not in combat. You got all the time you want and it's not that big of a cliff face. You, you can judge this yeah. one to, I think probably within enough that he needs for his thing. All right, how exactly how high is the cliff face? Um, let me just draw some stuff for a moment here. So here's your sea cave, right? And there's oh, like some I'm rocks in here. Way too far in. Uh, and then the cliff. Let's get a slightly different color. No, it's not a Buddha. Stop. <laughs> uh, this is roughly the edge of the vertical part, and then this kind of like <clears throat> gently rolls back in you know another so far. I would say this is eleven feet to the point where uh, it's fairly tilted to the point where you could scramble no problem. So it's eleven feet of of climbing of up yeah oh uh, i thought you said they were close to 30 feet well yeah uh, the it's 11 here and then it rolls back and at the very top after the roll is about 30 feet high so it's like 11 difficult feet and then I'll like 19 awkward feet. Feet. so i think we've got like pittons up like this like starting mm -hmm. from the inside of the cave and like a couple feet apart each so, so you just like yeah so you can climb up the cliff face or i in could the, in the rules rope. of my jump spell it allows a 30-foot vertical jump. Easy peasy. Whoa. So that's that's leapable in, in a 30-foot. In a yeah, foot. you could be down here on the ground and then leap up, and with the extra horizontal, you'd be you'd have no problem. Not an okay. issue. Okay. Nice. I, was, I was concerned when you were telling me they were about 30, we might run into some stuff there. I then spend the rest of the evening hours attempting to find a grasshopper and capture it. Well, it's evening, so you can hear them if they're out. Um, I don't know if grasshoppers live in cold areas. Doubtful. Snowhoppers. Snowhoppers. I attempt to find a snowhopper. I attempt to to will into existence a snowhopper and then capture it. Um, let's. I read shot. the secret, and if you if you wish it enough, then it just comes to you, right? You know, I gave you a five percent chance of finding a grasshopper. I'm like, on a natural twenty, he can. You found a fucking grasshopper. Boom, yeah. son! <laughs> sure enough, you you hear this. Me 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 me. Probably sort of, maybe in the cave, because yeah, the only one place for a grasshopper. Yes, you have found a rare species of cave grasshopper. Uh, <laughs> cave hopper. Yeah. I should dub you lucky. So you you have to pluck up. its legs off for something? Yeah, I'm going to pluck its hind legs off. <laughs> you dismember the grasshopper. Yes. Limb from limb. I'm, can I assume two hind legs or just a single You can hind assume leg? two hind legs okay. for grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I get to sleep. Um, yeah. well, I would like to know the watch one. order, please. I think I'm uh, first. Followed by Yaromir, followed by Ferris, followed by uh William. Captain, I'll go lost. Himself. Yeah. Perfect. So I think, Grimes. Yeah. Um we were supposed to do this a little earlier. What what's going through your head, man? I don't know if it's changed much. This place is cold and these people are loonies. Good thing I got Nash to keep me company. Right, Nash? Hey. I think Nash. <laughs> Ash and I, I think, are up 
talking in hushed growls. Is there a fire lit? We probably didn't light a fire. Uh, um, it's up to you guys. Yeah. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, I think yeah. we need a fire, don't we? You Keep would warm. want it for warmth. Um, yeah. I think by the end of tonight, everyone's going to have be full on warmth points. Yeah. Um, try and track that a little bit better in the All future. Right. Okay. So my mental state hasn't changed much. It's good to be walking around. This place is bloody cold, and the company is uh, less than optimal. Does it so, remind you of anything you've done in the past, like another time when you've been cold? I... So, Wick Lambdo, is that the name of that big peak in uh, mm -hmm. Wick Thorn mm -hmm. It's It gets snowy up there, but it's nothing like this. Just if we're going to be doing these uh, catch-ups every episode, mm -hmm. maybe we want to start talking about, like, memories or, you know, mm -hmm. stuff that we can reveal. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sorry. You're, no, you're good. Any any more questions for Grimes? I can have a conversation with uh, with Nash if you'd like. Yeah. Do you have something you'd like to ask him? Um. Actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> I loved his history lesson last time. Mm. Which you should share with us at some point in like detail. Yeah. So maybe we I, can. My notes yeah, are are sparse on that. Yeah. End. Nash, tell me more of this great wall. Have you seen it with your own eyes? He nods. Yes. It is big. It is great. It stretches from sea to mountain. Is it made of stone? I like tap the ground. Stone. What else does one make wall from? I don't know. Wood? Skulls of your enemies? No, no. Is This is a... Great Wall is a mountain, yes? Is a is the section of the mountain that, that runs out to the sea. <laughs> it is like not uh, crafted by flat-faced horsemen or by Ooh. mighty gnolls. It is the wall, the end of the road. Has any Have any gnolls ever been south of the wall? home for many gnolls all over the place. Uh, many gnolls live south of the wall too. Uh, we cover all of Caldonia. It's our home. We stay north is our territory. <laughs> Great monsters guard the wall though. Terrible. What kind of beasts? Bokasa did not give them a name. He said he fought one and slew it and took from its lair its treasure. You believe this Bokasa? This kinslayer? He came home with steel. Metal hmm. weapons. He had three. But you know the story. I have already told you. I nod, yes, Will. We too shall come home with steel. You stick with me, Nash, and everything's going to turn out just fine. Hmm. Right. I think, I think we're good. Has anything happened during my watch? No. <laughs> Utterly boring. Um, who was up next? Yormir? Yes. Okay, so you've got your grasshopper. Anything in particular you wanted to do, Mr. Wizard? Uh, yes, I want to go. I want to bundle myself up and go outside for just a few minutes, and I'm going to cast alarm, um, so that the 20 foot cube, the edge of the 20 foot cube, touches the back of the um, cave. So if the cave is 40 feet deep, I want to go outside and cast the edge of my 20 foot cube at like 40 feet on the top side of the cliff. Does that make sense? So the the cube sits in front of the cave and then rises to the surface. Let me let me draw. So 
I can't make Heidner and tail of this very much. So if- this is a front on view. Yeah, this is the frontal view from the from the ocean at the cave entrance. Okay, so if yeah. this if the cave goes back like this, right, depth yeah. wise. Yeah. I want to cast my my twenty foot cube originating on the top of the cliff face, so that the edge of it is here and goes that way. Okay, so you want it to, the entire alarm to sit above the cave. None of it sits yes. in front of the cave or on the beach. It's No, I want they're... it behind the cave because what... If they come along the beach, we're going to murder them. But any of them that are above us would be a problem. Okay. Let me take a look at the specifics of the alarm spell for just a moment here. It's going to last for four and a half hours, which is why I wanted to go kind of later. But... Okay. At uh, what point during your watch are you casting this? At the very end? Yeah, yeah. Because that would give us the best, like, t- length of time-wise. Okay, and do you have these spell components for it? I do. I have a tiny bell and a and a fine silver wire. So I think what I do, really, is I, is I walk up there uh, muttering to myself about the cold, clasping my, my, you know, jacket to myself, and I begin drawing... Um, this this large complicated sigil like that matches my um, my tattoo, and uh, along the way I'm kind of ringing a small bell softly, and and part of this like silver wire is is imparted into the ground and it elongates and follows my finger right. So this is fine silver wired sigil um, that just kind of is above the cave. Excellent. <clears throat> Okay, uh, your watch ends. Ferris, you're next. Uh, yes, I'm after Yarmir. Then we'll right. Anything last. in particular you're doing with your watch? Uh, not really. I think Ferris just kind of does his his usual writing on a writing on wood slats while he does his watch. Okay, and Kel William, you are the last person. What what do you do on your watch? <clears throat> Well, I get my armor on. I'm not used to having to do it by myself. So I'll get my armor on. Get my. Also watches you intently as you put your armor on. He's never seen <clears> anything <throat> like it. Nash. 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 Get, my, um, get my blade sharpened. He probably wakes up during the watch change. Yeah. I guess I'll try and um, like throw a smile at Nash every now and again. Maybe see if he's Grime seems to go on with him. Maybe he's not so bad. Yeah. But I start thinking about the plan for tomorrow. Not today. So near the end of your watch, um, the sun is beginning to rise. The other people are sleeping, but you can see it. You know, the cave faces north, so you can see the the water begin. Uh, the sunlight starts to reflect off of the waves out there, and the sky begin to lighten. Uh, and then there's this really fucking annoying sound that starts to, like, go off. It's like a, a bell's tolling. It's like some sort of alarm is going off. Yes. Does it wake us all up? It wakes yes, everybody it a, up. It is a loud bell. It's like a huge church bell sound that, like, rings out for 60 feet or something. Oh, really? I yeah. thought it was, like, a mental thing. Yeah. No, oh, it's, a, it's an audible, loud sound. Awesome. <clears throat> So I, I go and start waking hell? everyone up as soon as I hear that. What's going on? I think the bell wakes us all up. <laughs> yeah, you all wake up to the bell. I, I, I quickly scramble up and I say, On your feet, they are coming from behind cave. Um, and I say, Come here, uh, William. You are in armor, no? Yes. I can't tell. I still have crusties and eyes. <laughs> yeah, okay. William, help me put on my hide. I begin inscribing a pattern on your leg. Um, of and you'll you'll notice that I kind of maybe look at mine for a moment too, and this this rabbit kind of leaping symbol I begin drawing on your leg, and I cast jump on you, um, oh, which shit. allows you to once per round for the next three rounds make a thirty foot vertical leap or horizontal leap as part of your turn. All right, Yarame, yeah, what's what's Can- this noise? So uh, his alarm I have set up. I have the arcane powers of the world I have forced to awaken us should intruders come from behind. I I ready a bolt in my crossbow to mm-hmm. shoot anything that walks in front of the cave. While this is happening, it just takes a round to put on like yeah, head armor, I, right? I, I, yeah. I help you put it on. I assume we we probably can just sleep in our 
non-metal armor. In your hide right armor, it's probably even more comfortable to sleep because yeah. you're otherwise sleeping okay. on the stove. Sure, then I, I just wear it all the time. Okay. So if all right. they behind I'm, us. All right, so I'm I'm readying a shot at the cave entrance, and I try to hush the party. Shh, 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 shh. Yaramir, can you shut off that bell? It ends no, after a minute. Okay. Okay. No, nice. For a while. And I would like to eavesdrop out the cave if uh, nothing happens in the next okay. minute. No, that's perfect. You you listen to the edge of the cave. I oh, give me a. I think my eavesdrop is like ten or eleven. Eleven. Why the bell you... only lasts one round, if that's important. Then it ceases. Sure. Why don't you give me an eavesdrop check? That's D20 yeah, plus 11. Uh, let's should, see, there should, should be a set of modifiers on the thieves' yeah, table. Have, uh, let's see. Yeah, let me see if I can build it to Bring it up. Um, oh God. Blah, 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 blah. And then I can just... Where is our cave on this this battle map you have on roll? You guys 10? are on the cave. Your characters. Yep. Oh, there it is. Cool okay, I found it. Tokens. I was I was scrolling around oh, yeah. and I couldn't find the entrance. You have to just zoom like really far out. Yeah, I always forget because I try scroll wheeling and that does not do what I what no. I hope it would. <laughs> where, where is the alarm? Was it like this? Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's like, but, but farther back, like at the edge of the cave. Okay. Oh, there's there's a penalty of five of one for every five foot of distance. Mm -hmm. Quiet is plus four. I, don't, I, I would say the, the lapping of the ocean makes it not uh, quiet, but it's also not noisy, you know? Because you, okay. you got water kind of rushing around you. Uh, okay. So why don't you make me your check? Just straight check. Straight I'm check. I'm just no. to the edge of the cave and stick my ear out. Sure. Uh, with a 25. Yes. Uh, you can hear Knowles talking. Well, the sound has ended. What does it mean? I don't know. Let's just stay here. Okay. Well, everyone's ready. All right. Can, am I able to? Can I get a like a, a an over under on like a number of voices? Like it sounded like I heard two or three. You just oh, heard words. two. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Uh, I start trying to like do hand gestures back, and then I realize I don't know what I'm doing, and I just decide to whisper. <laughs> no. Okay. At least two. A okay. A voice calls out. In common or in... No, in Null. Okay. Uh, Musa! Is that you? Have you come to visit? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I look questioningly to, uh, to William and then to Nash. Does Nash, like, respond or does he look like he's... Ma Nash furrows his brow, like... He's contemplating something deep, but he can't quite figure it out. And I draw my sword. Sing. Remember, you can jump. Right. <laughs> well, guys, like in start, the next minute or two. Start climbing and I'll jump up. All right. Musa, show yourself. Ferris starts to you know walk toward the, the entrance of the cave and says, yeah, careful I, not to get yourself killed before I make it to the top, William. All right. Neil, I'm going to hide and s try and slip around the base of the cave, like looking up and like stay concealed. So why don't you show me on the map mm -hmm. what your plan is? Uh, yeah, or like so draw I what you want to do. Yeah, so I think we've got Pittens in over there. Yes, that is correct. So should I go up the Pittens or does the rest of the party want to go up the Pittens? We have a bow user, mm -hmm. a dag who okay. doesn't really necessarily yeah. need to climb to do it. Right. And we have so a jump, and we yeah. have you, the expert I'll, climber. Yeah, I'll go for the pittens then and kind of peer up the cave there and try to, like, press against the wall and use my ability to hide and just take, like, one step at a time. Musa, stay hidden. put down your weapons. You are completely surrounded. We have you. Surrender yourself. What is he saying, Grimes? There's no chance. Would you jump already, William? Stop climbing. I'll jump up when you're halfway there. Neil, uh, can we can we have a break before the combat starts? That was the plan. I was okay. going to end on a cliffhanger. Uh. See you guys on the other side of our break. Bye-bye. <laughs>